It's time to take your medicine. Lame? Incorrect! It's time for... There was a young lady in an old landlord's family who suffered from mastitis. Her breast was red and swollen and the pain made her fidgety. She didn't want anyone to know because she felt shy. So she forced herself to bear the pain. When her servant girl found out about it, she immediately told the old lady of the family, My young lady is ill. Please send for a doctor at once. I haven't heard of an unmarried girl suffering from mastitis before. Has she done something shameful? How can your young lady get this kind of disease? Where has she been? Whom has she met? My young lady has never been out of the gate. How could she have met anyone outside? Then the old lady ran upstairs and pointed at her daughter's nose and scolded her. How could you get such a scandalous disease? You have shamed your parents. When the young lady understood what her mother was implying, she was ashamed and angry, but she could not clearly explain the situation. She could only weep. I am in pain, but my mother suspects that I am immoral. And even if a doctor comes, how can I show him my breast? When her servant girl was asleep, she silently went downstairs and out the back gate. Then she jumped into the river without hesitation. Near the shore was a fishing boat where a man and his daughter were casting a net by the moonlight. The girl immediately jumped into the river to save the young lady. When she brought her up to the boat, she dressed her in her own dry clothes. In doing so, she discovered the girl's mastitis and told her father about it. Tomorrow you must go dig up a certain medicinal herb for her. The next day his daughter fetched a medicinal herb with long sawtooth leaves and puffballs. She decocted it and had the girl drink the medicinal liquid. A few days later, the girl's disease was cured. After the landlord and his wife heard that their daughter had jumped into the river, they knew they had mistakenly accused her. They were overcome with regret, so they sent people out to look for her everywhere. The young lady wept as she said goodbye to the fisherman and his daughter. The old fisherman had the young lady take some more of the medicinal herb home and told her to decoct it to drink when the disease returned. The young lady knelt at the feet of the old fisherman and kowtowed to him three times. Then she went home. The young lady had the servant girl plant the medicinal herb in her flower garden. To remember the fisherman and his daughter, the young lady named the medicinal herb Pugong Ying because the old fisherman's daughter's name was Pugong Ying. Ever since, the news that Pugong Ying cures mastitis has spread everywhere. Yes, kid. Yes, you can. Uh, what else can you drink? Kid, I'm glad you asked. Next week on Chinese Herbal Legend. Can the humble yam save an army and an entire country? Tune in next week. The creator of this video would like to thank Chinese Apple.